you said in uh, previously, in order to migrate to microservices, you have to learn how to strangle the monolith. Can you explain that strategy? Yeah, which, which you know, interestingly, that's sort of a slightly violent term, um, and and it actually goes back to a a, a, re, a strategy that Martin Fowler, uh, an application modernization strategy that Martin Fowler promoted in. 2006, I believe, known as this, well, it was this Strangler application. And he has since modified it to the, the Strangler fig <laughs> pattern. Um, and so I guess one day he was going for a walk in a rainforest, I think in Queensland, right? Do they have rainforests there? They do in Northern Queensland. Yeah. So and he got inspired. He came across a, a Strangler fig, which is this thing that it's this plant that starts off life in a canopy of a tree and then actually grows down to the ground and, and establishes roots and basically grows so large it envelops or, or sort of you could say well, shades out the tree and that can actually cause the tree to die. Um, and so that, that was where he got inspired to, to, modern, to think about modernizing applications that way. So instead of doing a big bang rewrite, which is extremely time consuming and risky, you actually incrementally build up a strangler application ar around the, the legacy application, sort of migrating functionality out of it, you know, very iteratively. Um, and so the legacy application shrinks and the strangler application continues to grow. And so that was his gen generic application modernization pattern and that's how you should migrate to a to a microservice ar architecture so you you gradually migrate functionality one module at a time out of your monolith into this strangler application or strangler fig application um, and you know and that's so it's this incremental iterative process um, which, which can take a number of years. Um, but the key thing is you focus on those areas of your application that give you the sort of the greatest return on investment. So say the areas of the application that are core to the business that, you know, that give you the competitive advantage, those parts of the application that you're changing constantly. And I guess starting off with probably the simplest one with the most narrow scope possible as well. So you get an easy, quick win and say, We've now uh, you know, migrated one tiny, tiny little bit of our monolith into a microservice, and they've got the learnings associated with that. Yeah. Well, you might want to practice. You might want to practice on some easy parts, but you really want you are, you know, very quickly you should focus on those parts of the application that give you the 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 um, have a module that's constantly being developed. You turn it into a service so that you can quickly develop it. Um, or if maybe there's a module that's causing scalability or reliability issues, you migrate that into a service so that you can scale it independently. Now, interestingly, you responded to a tweet.